fluorite fluoresces. I can't believe how it glows. Super bright orange. Yeah, I'll smash it. Look at how much they're. Wow. Wow. That is something else. Wow. Hey everyone, I'm Regina and welcome to my channel Rustic Skills. Today I am going to check out awesome glowing rocks. I am super excited. I also brought some of my fluorite from the Lone Star Mine to see if that glows as well. So fluorescing minerals is the flavor for today. But before that, as I'm waiting for the sun to set, because it is much better to look at glowing rocks in the dark, <laughs> I am playing a little bit in the Dragoons. So come with me on a little adventure and uh, stay tuned for glowing rocks. Now, before we get all the fun started, I wanna thank you for tuning in to my channel. If you could just take one click and subscribe right now, that would be super awesome. Also, I'd like to invite you to my newsletter, rusticskills.com slash newsletter, where you get two free rock hounding maps. I also have launched rock hounding tours here in Southern Arizona, rusticskills.com slash tours. I now have two YouTube members. That's super awesome. Thanks for being a monthly supporter. And I have one buy me a coffee monthly supporter as well. So if you want to see these awesome adventures keep on rolling, I would appreciate it if you wanted to chip in. Even just leaving a thoughtful comment showing that you appreciate my content really helps keep me going. So let's get on to some awesome Dragoon adventures. site of Pierce and Pierce was a gold rush town in Arizona back in the early 1920s and this here is the old mercantile building the original building and uh, wow look at these old door handles that is so freaking cool looks like a grappling hook an old ore cart on a track even has an old scooping bucket on it. Check it out. I've not seen one of these with a bucket on it before. Like a loader bucket. That's pretty sweet. And here we have some more old, beautiful mining equipment. Wow. Imagine pulling around that old dolly. <laughs> that must weigh a ton. And this is a uh, this is an old ore cart elevator. It looks like to me. They made stuff differently back then. That's for sure. Wow, look at this old adobe building. Look at the building material. It's supposed to stay nice and cool in the, uh, in the summertime and warm in the winter. There's some open doors back there, but I don't know. I don't think I can get back there. I just hear tons of old bottles out here. Look at that one. That one's beautiful. Log cabin. That's an old syrup bottle. How cool is that? Wow. This right here, this is a beautiful, well-preserved old building where you tie up your horses in the front here. Look at this old gas, gas pump. Yeah, that's so neat. This must have been the old jail. Yep. <laughs> the old Pierce jail. Imagine getting stuffed in there with some old cowboy outlaws. Wow. Couldn't fit that many guys, that's for sure. Woo, definitely going on an adventure right now. The uh, Dragoon Pass is pretty narrow. I had to pass someone on this road. Woo, it'd be tight. in the distance. I don't know if you can see that blue wall of tailings over there. I believe that is the Middle March Mine and I'm going to pilot my drone over there. All right, it's a little windy so we'll see how she fares. I'm pretty new at drone piloting so we'll see how good I do but I'm gonna send her out there and see what we can find.
landed it right on the cow patty. <laughs> Luckily, it was dry. Watching a beautiful sunset from the Dragoon Mountains, and I'm going up the pass. But there is a person coming down, and uh, there is no place to pass on this. Which is this was my actual concern about coming up here. So I don't know if I'm going to make it. Um, I'm going to have to back up. Getting closer to the pass, and this is narrow as hell. Got one more narrow point to go, and then I should be in the clear. Ooh well, I made it through. <laughs> That was really rocky, and my truck tires are just not in the greatest of condition right now. And uh, it's getting dark out, and it was on the side of a mountain, and uh, yeah, felt a little sketchy. But shouldn't be too terrible from here on out. I'm going to meet my buddies at China Camp, and uh, we're going to go look at some glowing rocks. So you're doing dark mine explorations in the middle of the mountains at night. That is an extra level of yeah, most, sketchy. Most people want to leave right now. I'm like, no! Wait. Well, this is great. So this is the green. Yep, that's your green. Usually, typically, green will Wow, control us. it glows so much! Oh yeah, that's a nice piece. That's from her mine? Yeah. Yeah, this is from Florida, the mine. Just a big chunk of green oh, floor yeah. that I grabbed out of the bag. Dude, the cave is going to be so cool. Oh, yeah, the whole thing will light up like this. And what kind of flashlight is this that? This is a 365. The 365. Yep. So it's long wave, 365. Okay. Look at how it using. just. <laughs> I yeah, can't believe how it glows. It okay, let's nicely. try the other ones. Let's try the other ones. Yeah, definitely. Oh, my. Definitely God. glows. <gasps> Even wait, gonna be brighter. there's some purple, too. Is that the purple piece? Oh my god, this is so exciting. And so even the purples glow, I think, because there's purples in there. Yep, this is a purple. This is a purple. It mixed with a little white and a little bit. Yeah, but it's glowing. So Wow. And it does have an afterglow. So the 365. The oh. It does. Slightly. Oh my god. That's so it's so probably calcite. Cool. More than that. Okay, there's a lot calcite. of calcite in my mind. Usually typically not short wave. Okay. But this one's cool because we can go mid-wave now, which now we're picking up a little bit. A little bit more, and, and it's a purple glow. Long wave. So the long wave does it. Yep. Wow. Well, guys, my fluorite fluoresces. Isn't that exciting? Under 365, when you come visit the mine, we will definitely uh, be glowing in a beautiful cave. It's going to be super amazing. I'm super excited. I'm excited to go out there at night and uh, do some night collecting too. I'll have to add that to the tour. Yay! I love that really pretty, it's almost like a purpley pink. Yep. And then it goes to the reds. Yep. And then to the, the blues and I that purple. It. Oh my God, I love that. That's freaking awesome. Reminds me of cotton candy. It came down oh yeah, red. it is cotton candy colors. Pinks the reds. Wow, look at the Pinks. deep reds on that. And what wavelength are you using? Short wave right now. Short wave. Oh, wow. It's a matter of time before you walk underneath that thing and that thing just smushes you. Yeah, you just gotta go fast. Yeah, all that's gonna give out here soon. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's really pretty. That is something else. Wow. That is just too cool. And I'm assuming there's a market for these rocks, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Crimson Look red. at that deep red. Very cool. So we did find Look at, it's like here. stars. Yep. So it could be oh shoe my light, gosh. it could be powellite. It doesn't take much molly I love that. to change it into that yellow. Powellite with the pink. The powellite is just, it reminds me of stars. Yep. What does it look like on the regular light? Probably the powellite. You not be able to see it. You can't even tell. No. All I see is just some epidote. There's a decent one. They get a little brighter. 
Oh, yeah, that is brighter. So lavender is Smithsonite. Yep, the lavender, the pink, and the crimson red that we're seeing. It could do all three okay, colors. Okay, cool. Interesting. This one, we might actually be able to see the structure. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can see it. All that. Mm -hmm. I love that. So that's powellite. Uh, that is, she. Uh, sorry, Smithsonite again. It is Smithsonite. Yep, the powellite uh, be yellow. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, the powellite's a yellow specs. Yep. Yeah, that's a really pretty lavender color. Yeah, it's an interesting piece. Whoa, look at all the stuff on that piece. That one. There's a lot of action. Yeah. Look at all the action going on. It might be a breaker. It might be a good one. To yeah, break. let's smash it. Smash <laughs> it. That's a, it all speckled out, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that goes all the way through. Mm hmm. I'm loving the speckle. I mean, I love it all, but the speckles just really do something for me. It's that green. Really green again. Could be aragonite. Yeah, that has got a greenish tone to it. Yeah, it's an interesting piece. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's very that's rich palite. That is freaking well, cool. Look at how much they're, wow. Yeah, I just love the color of it. It's unusual. Mm -hmm. And look at, that's a really starry one. It's really opening my eyes to a whole other world. So only four mines for fluoresced out of 87? That I went to that one year, yep. Wow. So That's algae. Oh, the, the orange is yeah. algae. Yeah, lichens, lichens and algae can glow. Lichens and algaes glow. See the yep, lichen? I see it now, yeah. Going up the spooky night trail. Oh, yeah, it is green. A little bit of calcite in there. Yeah. A little bit of green. Big. That's a lot of fluorescence. Are you going to keep that one? It's uh, definitely a keeper. That looks like a keeper to me. Yeah. And it, I love how it's dual colored. Yep. That's really pretty. I love that one. Just definitely. all lavender. Yeah. yeah. It's a little pink on the side, a little red. Now we're Look adding, at that orange. Yeah, now we're adding calcite to the Smithsonian. That's a super bright orange. Yep. It's like a pumpkin orange. Really pretty. Videotapes and photographs really well. It does. I can't believe how crisp and beautiful it photographs. Wow. It's just super glowing i love that a little purple a little purple on the other yeah, side yeah lavender, lavender. it okay. almost has like a deep purple background too yeah. Ooh, that's really intricate look at i love this yeah. right here it's a nice rich piece right Ooh, there on the end. that is nice on the end right there i love that oh that's a pretty piece it's a glower you got some greens on there too huh yeah. teal green Nice. It's a glower, not a shower. Yeah, this is a p good payoff spot, huh? Yeah, there's always. Good oh, I'm glad I got to see it. This is a good spot. I wasn't taking you to a bummer. <laughs> well, thanks for that. Well, this is quite the experience. We're finding tons of glowing rocks out here, which is apparently very rare. Um, lots of interesting different colors purples, reds, pinks, lavenders. The. Uh, Paulite is my favorite. The starry night rocks are my favorite. Um, and there's some oranges too, some greens. So yeah, this is a blast.